welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about my stretching routine. It's the routine that I do after every single run. I think this is the best kind of condensed stretching routine that um, you could do, or at least that's in my opinion. Uh, but I do this after every single run. I find it gets me ready for my next run. I feel so much better in the next run when I've been done, when I've done this stretching routine the day before or the run before. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Um, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new um, and enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be my quick fire stretching routine. So you're gonna hold each of these stretches for about 30 seconds, um, anything up to a minute, but I wouldn't recommend going more than a minute because that's when you begin over stretching. Um, I love to do this stretching routine after every single run. Um, I find it's really easy, really simple, um, and I just find I, I, I feel so much better going into my next run as a result of it. Um, stretching helps to improve your flexibility, which will, in the long term, help increase your running economy, because if you can take bigger strides as a result of your flexibility, then you have to take less strides. Less strides equals less energy. So it's, um, it's a really good thing to get into to increase that running economy and ultimately increase your speed if that's your, if that's your goal. Um, also, it doesn't um, help improve your, like, your health, because you're less likely to get injured when you when you stretch your muscles. Um, it's been proven that people that don't stretch are, are far higher, have a far higher chance of getting injured. So if you want to keep that mental health um, in tip top condition um, by being able to do exercise, then definitely um, partake in some stretching afterwards to help reduce the chance of injury. Because if you can't get out of your, your daily runs, you're probably going to get miserable. <laughs> And uh, that's not what we want, is it? I don't, I get out aggy when I don't get out for my runs. So um, yeah, just try and get a stretching routine into your run, uh, into your run, into your post run sort of time. Anything, even if you can only fit in te uh, five, 10 minutes, that is just, is, is better to do those five to 10 minutes than not doing it because your body's just gonna appreciate it so much more. Um, it helps to bring the heart rate back to normal. So rather than just stopping and then just sitting still, after a run it helps to just get you return you back to normal um, in a nice relaxing state almost meditative um, which is really good and it also helps to flush out those waste products through your lymphatic system um, which does need movement to help flush that through so you've just been for a run so doing some stretching is just going to help increase that um, that drainage of things like lactic acid and the other buildups in your in your muscle that you need to get rid of um, I would also recommend doing a cool down before you do the, these stretches so Rather than just stopping your run and stretching, you want to go from a run, like your, your main workout, and then you want to do your cool down. This can be walking, this can be some lighter jogging, higher cadence, shorter stride length, um, like really easy pace for a cool down. You do not want to be getting the heart rate up at all because that's not the idea of it. If you're working hard on your cool down, you've done it wrong. Unfortunately, I hate to break it to you, but you should have been working hard on the harder on the run if you feel like you have to push it on the cooldown. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. So the first stretch is a glute stretch. So we're gonna bring one leg over the other like so, and then we're gonna hug that leg from close to our chest, as close as possible. You should feel a, should feel a light stretch. You don't wanna be causing any pain or discomfort during this, um, but a, a nice stretch. You should, you should definitely feel it. I've been doing these stretches for months and months and months, and I can still feel a bit of a stretch. Um, even though I've got a fairly good range of motion now. Apart from my hamstring flexibility, my hamstring flexibility is really poor. So you're gonna do this on both sides. Um, so what this is doing is really stretching out those glute muscles, really important muscle for running, especially your gluteus maximus, which is your biggest glute muscle. So that is the first stretch. Do it on both sides. Next one, a doctor stretch. So we're gonna put our feet together elbows on the inside of our knee and we're just going to gently push it out like so. Going to hold it for about 30 seconds as I said. You don't use your adductors too much during running but it's definitely a good thing just to stretch them out because it will be used a little bit especially if you've been running around some corners and, and so on. Next stretch I'm going to do it from this point of view. So this is more of a hip flexor stretch, it also stretches a bit of the glutes as well. Um, but yeah, so you're going to bring your leg up, but instead of being directly up, we're going to start with it away from the body, 
gonna hold that plate in place for a minute. Then we're gonna bring it at a 90 degree angle to the body. And then we're gonna bring it across the body. 30 seconds on each. So you're just targeting the different uh, hip flexor regions. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So you can start from the middle and work your way out, or you can start from the outside and work your way in. So this time we're gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna go at my 90 degree angle. Good stuff. So I've already done my stretching today, so I don't need to hold these for too long. I did my stretching after my recovery run this morning. Um, 8K, seven minute miles, super nice on the um, soft floor of the, of the of the woods. It was really nice on the foot, really good for that recovery. Next one, what we're gonna do is you're gonna bring your foot across like so. And then we're just gonna lay across our leg. So again, should do this in the glutes. The flatter you can get your chest to the floor, better. And then we're going to swap it over. This is a bit, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know the technical name for it, but I feel like I'd want to call it like a gazelle stretch or something. It feels a bit gazelle like. I can feel that on that side, so I know I've definitely got a bit tighter hip flexors on this left side. And then we're going to come back up. Now we're going to move on to your quadriceps. So we're going to start off with a hurdle stretch. So we're going to have one leg out, one leg to the side, like so. And you're just going to lift back. So it's okay if you need to come off. See, I've got quite poor hamstring um, uh, quadricep flexibility, so I can't get that knee quite on the floor as I would like to. But I can still feel that stretch on my quadriceps, which is what we're after. Do that on both sides, as I said, don't worry about getting your knee to the floor, you do not want to be breaking any bones. If it's tight, as you lay down, your knee will actually come up, um, so just, just allow it to. That's perfect. Then we're going to do a fairly simple one, most of you have probably done this before. So you're going to put one leg out like so, I'm going to hold on just because I'm going to lose my balance. This is quite a good one in terms of getting the technique right. So you can see a nice right angle compared to my other leg. And I can really feel the stretch on this leg here. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. So again, don't do this the same amount of time I'm doing it for, you want to do it for a little bit longer, 30 seconds to a minute. Next stretch, what we're going to do is something I like to call the Chinese puzzle, um, kind of, I don't know why I gave it that name, it's just kind of stuck. So we're going to bring one leg across like so, like this, we're going to reach through with our hands, grab our knee, and then pull this towards us. So this is an IT band stretch. So just on the outside, the medial side of your thigh, down to your knee. So there's been a lot of studies about whether stretching the IT band actually helps. I personally find it does. I like to roll my IT band, I like to stretch my IT band. Um, but there is quite a scientific, not a war, but a scientific debate about whether stretching or manipulation on the IT band actually does anything. We're going to do the same on the other side. So you should be able to feel this on the outside of the bent of the like the leg that's at an angle. So not this one here, this one up here. You should be able to feel the stretch there. If you can feel it down to the hip, that's not a problem. That is your um, tensor fascia lata, which becomes the IT band. So that's just where you're feeling that stretch there. Good stuff. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some hamstrings. So it's quite an easy one. So you're going to be, begin by just reaching to touch your toes. 
and then we're gonna bend our legs, grab our toes, and then we're gonna try and straighten our legs. See, I've got really poor hamstring flexibility, so I can't actually straighten my legs. Again, you're gonna hold this for 30 seconds to a minute. Next thing, we're gonna do some calf stretching. So this is really good to do against the wall. The first one, you're just gonna go against the wall. And you push into it. You should feel the stretch in your calf. Next stretch for the calf, we're going to put one leg out in the front and we're going to bend the back leg. So you might feel this down to your um, Achilles tendon area, so that is just where your calf muscles attach to the heel of your foot. So don't worry too much if it is just a gen gentle stretch feel. If you're starting to get pain in that area, then I would uh, stop immediately. Good stuff. So now we've done the calves. Finally, we're gonna move on to some more kind of gentle, relaxing stretches. So the first one I like to do is I like to just lay down with my legs like so, hands out in front, and just stretch out that back. While you're doing this, you can put some music on if you want. I quite like to just sit in silence, meditate a little bit. And then the final stretch, we're going to be stretching out the core. It's going to lay flat and then do this kind of, it's called like a cobra stretch or something. Someone, someone who does more yoga will be able to tell you. I hope you enjoyed that video on my stretching routine. So that's the routine that I do after every single run. Um, so I hope that you may were able to pick up maybe like even just one tip maybe one stretch even if you know a lot of them already um to implement into your little stretching routine um so yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you could smash the like button that'd be greatly appreciated um and i'll catch you in the next one see you later